Better smeridinas are a species of wild bedders from Thailand, but can also be found in neighbouring countries like Cambodia and Laos. They live and thrive in marshland-like environment where water doesn't dry up all year round and are one of five species that is native to Thailand. Smeridinas are naturally emerald green with some iridescent blue. Their base body is usually dark brown or black. There is also a subspecies of Smeridina that we call Smeridina guitar. Now these guys are best known for their spiderweb-like markings on their tails. So before I made my way on a trip, I'm just going to show you guys on the thing that I usually take when I go hunting. The first thing we need is obviously something to put the fish in, so this plastic jar is perfect for the job. I'll also take my test kit with me just to show you guys the pH of the water, and then obviously we need a net. This net needs to be soft so it doesn't damage any scales of the fish. So this is my friend and I making our way to the habitat that we're going to go hunting in. Right now it's drought season in Thailand and there's no water or rain in sight so all our rice fields here are empty, as you can see. During the raining season we try to go as little as possible because this is the time that the fish naturally spawns. So we do give them some time to repopulate and if we do want to go we usually go at the end of the summer. We went down this dirt road for another kilometer and then turned right out another small dirt road leading towards the habitat. I love Ubi. Oh. <laughs> now behind the bush that I'm about to point to is a big pond. This pond does have wild bedders, but I usually skip this pond and go to the main habitat. As we were making our way down towards the habitat, I noticed that the forest surrounding it was all burnt. Now farmers here usually burn their forest during this season so their farm doesn't get overgrown but it's also dangerous because wildfire could spread really quick. Pollution is a big concern for this habitat because surrounding this area is full of rice fields and potato fields. Farmers need to use fertilizers, weed killers and all that kind of stuff to help their plant grow. But when it does rain really hard, it washes down and it collects in this habitat. So in a moment, we'll go down in this habitat, catch a few pairs, hopefully to breed and then re-release and also relocate their fry to another habitable environment. Now, this is a small um, habitat, just from the one on the top. And when this all floods, all of the fish here will go to this rice field here. So this all gets flooded when the rice planting season comes. Usually, They'll spawn around the edges like this, build their bomber nests and everything. This is like the perfect spot here. But right now, I don't see anything. Here are some of the plant life actually, I'll show you. I'm not really sure what these are called, but usually their habitat are full of these fern. Every habitat will usually have these fern growing everywhere. The water is pretty clear as well. Usually, like when you go hunting, you would open up small gaps like this, and you'll find holes like this with like pockets of water. I'm not sure you can see that. They'll come spawn here, really small hole. Someone's just left their cow here. <laughs> now, someone's actually burned all this. There used to be like really lush greenery around here, but they burn it to clear out the... Oh no. <laughs> so the method of catching him is just getting a net like this and he'll sweep it in towards him 
and any fish that's in the edges will run out into the net and hopefully he'll get some. Can I don't like about it? So we were just walking and my friend spotted a small bubble nest inside here. It's a really really small one. Right there. So I'm gonna check that out. Hopefully there's a fish. Abba. In tight areas like this, sometimes you need to use your hands to actually cut the fish out from the nest. Um, this one looks like his tail's too damaged, so we're not really gonna pick this one. But it's a really nice fish, actually. When I do test it, it comes back around. This is 5.5, 5.4, 5.3. So pH is around. 4.9 to 5.3 Look, so many females These are all female, we'll just keep the biggest one Because she's ready to breed in and let go of the other ones Wait, you really? Caught one, it's too small we'll let that one go So the method for catching is basically just get the net Put it in front of you and you just run it back between your legs. And any fish around will basically run inside the net. Here's one. Been allowed. Neat. Here's another female. Here's one that's too small, so we'll let her go. So we're going to keep her. So far we have two pairs. So we're just going to look for one more. So I just said my friend because I want to do some filming. So this is the method that to do it. He'll probably get sank. So we'll walk over to look. Wrong eh, wrong eh. Oh, it's only a little one. Very small. Oh, no, no, no. Here's one. Nice female. I actually caught two, and there's another one there. Bye. We'll let that one go. And we'll keep this one. This is a female. So, we caught three females, four females. Look at this one, this one's really, really good. This one's really nice. Got a really green male. Woo! No, I'm not. Then, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. I was on that boat. I dropped the one. 
โฟกัสดูกดลงเออได้เออได้เห็นบ่เอออ้าวกอดสุดสองเอ้ยแค่ไหนบ่เอาเลยเขียวแวมเห็นบ่โอเคจะโดนวายุมีปวดจะประตูเฮ้ยบังโอเคโซลด้วยไอ้บอบเนสไรอินเฮียช่วยไอ้คนนี้เอาสิก่อนสิสิเป็นสมูนเอสเลยบ่ะเดมเอลส์โพลิกอนเดี๋ยวเราเอ็กซ์เลยจะมีนี่จับวันเดียวเลยได้แล้วบ่ะอือคือบ่เอาบ่ะบ่ะมีเดมเอลส์เน่าๆบ่ะอุ้ยอุ้ยอุ้ยเขียวล่างล่างมองบอดนะบอดอืมนะ right so I check this bubbleness here is in a little like hole connecting to the main pool of water so this is what I mean when they go to secluded area to spawn but by looking at the nest there's no eggs yet now this habitat is the main habitat that ran off from a pond above here where my finger is pointing and all of this used to be really really lush green and everything but the farmers has probably um, burnt all this out just to clear out some you know just to make it more tidy and everything these here um, are fern this is my friend just looking for fish right now but when the raining season all this is flooded the habitat spreads out and you know there's loads of fish right now the raining season hasn't come yet but i've taken you guys here today just to show you the habitat and what it looks like <laughs>